Yo guys, it's KQ here, back in another video, and today I'll be teaching you how to create text animations like this in Premiere Pro. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is create a new sequence. So you want to go to your project panel, go to this new item button, click on it, click on sequence, go to settings, make sure it's whatever FPS you want. I'm going to use 60 FPS, and then make sure your frame size is correct. So I'm going to use 16 by 9, 90, 20 by 1080, and the rest doesn't really matter. So we're just going to click OK. So what I'm going to do now is write in my text. So I'm going to write yo guys it's kq here and then i'm gonna reposition it and resize it and change the font all right so once you have your text how you like it you want to now go and change the color the fill and the stroke to something that is going to be more visible instead of white on white so i'm going to go with orange and i'm going to make the stroke red next thing you want to do is hold alt on your keyboard and click and drag on your text layer and drag it up by one and then we're going to double click on the text and i'm just going to change this to the first letter of my text so that is why now i'm going to double click and i'm going to change it back to the color that i want my text to be so now we just have a y here now we want to reposition it so it is right over the y on your text so to make it go in a straight line hold shift on your keyboard and you'll just go exactly in a straight line and just move it over it doesn't have to be fully exact but as close as you can and there the y is done now all you need to do is do that for each and every letter so i'm going to do that now Okay, so if you have an apostrophe in your text, as you'll notice, if you press the apostrophe button, it's going to be the wrong way than what it should be because you don't have any other text next to it. So what I normally do is put a full stop and then I highlight the full stop and then I turn off the fill and the stroke. So as you can see now, it's the right way and I can just position it and it's going to be fine. Alright, so once you're done overlaying the text, you're going to need to offset each letter by two frames and each word by four frames. So I'm going to show you what I mean now. So we're going to start here on the Y. We're going to go two frames using our arrow keys. One, two. And we're going to move this here and then see how it's a new word. We're going to go four frames now. One, two, three, four. And we're going to drag it here and then we're going to go to two frames again since it's still the same word. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then now one, two, three, four. And then you get the gist. I'll show you what it should look like when it's done. All right. So now you can just hide the first layer and here's what it should look like now. So you can just see the text just pops up one by one. And now we have full license to go and animate it. In the video, description you'll find a google drive link containing a few free presets that you can use for your test animations and png pop-ups all you have to do is download them import them into premiere pro and drag the preset onto your text quick disclaimer when applying the rotate in preset as you can see when you apply it it all comes in from the center how to fix this is you want to go layer by layer you want to click on anchor point here and you want to move this into the center of your text so just have the text written out below it so you want to put it into the middle of the text and then you want to copy that anchor point paste it onto position and you want to do that for both the x and y axis and you want to do that for every single one of these letters and then it will be looking the same so that's about it for the video if you found anything useful make sure to drop a like and subscribe and goodbye